Good evening, it's that time of the day again. We are out on another Thursday night crawl in Derbyshire. So tonight we've picked to do sort of the Chadderston area of Derbyshire, which fills some gaps in sort of from Spondon and where we were over the last few weeks. Uh, we've got six pubs to hit tonight. And our first one is big sign on the outside of it said heart of the community, uh, the Royal Crown in Chadderston, which is in the middle of a housing estate. Uh, got a vape shop and a little premier shop with it. Uh, didn't know it was here. Didn't uh, even realize it exists. It's got a big, uh, big Derby County flag hanging on the outside of it. But you know, we don't discriminate around here. Let's go and get on it. Yeah, it's sort of heart of the community, I can definitely see. It's one of those, it's definitely one of those sort of community pubs. It's, it's nice, it's really friendly. Uh, it's, a decent, it's a decent boozer. Um, exactly what I would expect to have found in the middle of houses and stuff where we are. Good pub, good start. A heartbeat of the community, definitely for that one. It is, it's a big, it's a big enough pub on a housing estate. It's the only pub on that massive estate as well, so it probably does pretty well. Um, just up in Chatterston, so we've come about two minutes. Uh, we're going to do it anyway because it technically is a pub and a pub building, uh, and they do do a great carvery. You can't say that they don't. So we're going to nip for a very, very swift one in the Toby Carvery. Stop number two because it is in Chatterston, and we're trying to show you Chatterston. I mean, as I'd expected, the carvery does smell amazing. It's really busy on the restaurant side, but it's actually what's surprising in here is it's actually really busy with drinkers as well in the bar side. They're not eating. These are just people in here drinking like a normal, regular pub, uh, which you don't often find in Toby Carvery. It's not ones we've been to anyway. But have a look around, sort of uh, the layout of it in here. Oh, there she is. She's on her phone. Look, she's always on her phone. Uh, right, with uh, with drinkers in the bar side, not eating. It's, it's pretty busy for Toby Carvery. Yeah, quite surprised by how many drinkers there are in the uh, Toby Carberry, to be honest. Right, Chatterton's most recommended pub to us was another Steaming Billy pub. Uh, this one's called the Wilmot Arms. We've done a few of their uh, pubs already, and they're generally really, really good. So quite looking forward to this. Looks quite nice. Yeah, I really like the Steaming Billy pubs. This is another nice one. It's set in two different bars, completely separate from the others. So we're in the top bar, which is really... Uh, quiet and subdued, it's noisier, much busier down in the bottom bar. They're just really nice looking pubs. In Billy, uh, big thumbs up for them again. I can see why this was Chalice's most recommended pub. Uh, and yeah, really like it, really nice. Uh, yeah, really, I am a big fan of Steaming Billy pubs. They're really good. Uh, up into Oakwood now, where it looks like we've got two here before we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're doing Oakwood and Breadstall, so there's gonna be seven uh, by the looks of things. So this one looks to be a sizzling, uh, and this is the Oak and Acorn. Let's go and see what this has got in store for us. Yeah, not a great impression of this one, to be honest. Like, the staff are uh, not really with it. It's uh, not very good at serving people or just anything. Uh, all the tables in the other side have got reserved sides. I was sure they've got a quiz or something on that, so they're all reserved. But I just, I just said, oh, is there, a, is there anywhere we can sit? And she was like, oh, you'll have to have a look. Not overly helpful. Um, the toilet's completely blocked off. You can't get into the, the gents. So there's not a single Ryan you can get to. Um, and it's just a bit, it's a, it's a chain pub, but they're just not trying very hard. It's just a, it's just a, a bit of a, a real letdown, this one. Real letdown. Yeah, not really impressed with that uh, Oakwood one at all. Um, and I'm not holding out much hope because this looks like a hungry horse. The paddocks are technically bread all. Um, notoriously, we're not a massive fan of hungry horse. Um, but open, open mind. It's another day. We're going to see. You know what? Never judge a pub before you go into it, or by its brand, because uh, you know what? It's actually all right. It's clean. It's tidy. The staff are good. Um, yeah, as far as hungry horses go, it's a, it's not bad. A whopping great uh, TV screen to my right, and plenty behind, as you can see, uh, with football on. Yeah, it's actually decent. Uh, further along in Breadsall, then you come to the Windmill. This looks like a really nice old pub. Um, yeah, the hungry horse really surprised me. Like, I'm normally normally like the the Highland High sell it cheap food thing. We're not really a fan of, but uh, as far as the pub goes, it was actually all right. Um, better than the sizzling one around there. So you know, never judge a pub by the exterior. Practice what you preach. This is my type of pub. Friendly locals pub, full of dogs as well. Look at this. That's my second room, second room that had a DJ or something or quiz or something going on on the other, on the other side. But yeah, this is my, this is definitely my sort of pub. Um, really friendly, really good pub. This. So last stop of the night brings us back into Oakwood, um, and it's a Marston's by the looks of things from the outside. It's called the King's Corner. Looks a big eatery type place. Uh, food led us. Looks alright, looks tidy enough from out here. So, uh, but we absolutely love the windmill. Uh, the dogs are beautiful. Everyone in there was really friendly. That is probably top 
of the night thus far. So King's Corner to sign off with. Yeah, this is alright, it's bright area, it's definitely a food led house, uh, but it's, it's nice to have a look. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice booth at this actually, an old style pub, nice wooden beams, what a shock, Holly's on her phone, there we are, look. Yeah. Uh, but a nice way to finish off, uh, finishing Oakwood, this is Oakwood's best pose, if there's just the two, the sizzling one and this, this is definitely the one I would choose. Um, so, as always, Thank you for watching our Thursday night adventures in Derbyshire. We're probably going to continue Thursday nights around Derbyshire, to be honest, because um, we're liking what we've done. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, thanks, guys. Tomorrow we are off to Market Harbour, Leicester, bottom of Leicestershire. Uh, so we'll see how that goes.